Hey guys, it's Ariana. Welcome back to my channel. So today is Halloween. It's my favorite day of the year and this video may be very much so random cuts because there's tons of kids coming to the door and we're doing Halloween, the trick-or-treat, the whole ordeal at my house and um, I wanted to film my last Halloween video because I was not prepared today and I'm doing it now. <laughs> so I am just doing this really cute witch hat on my wing. I'll zoom you guys in so you guys can see. It's this really cute witch hat. It just goes on the end of my wing and I just wanted to do one last Halloween look. I don't have any of my special effects stuff at my house here in Edmonton because my boyfriend lives an hour away as you guys know. So I just thought, hey, let's just do a beauty look. So if I can find my phone. I will tell you guys the Instagram page that I got this idea from, if I can find it. I'll have to link it down below, I can't find it on my phone right now, but this girl did this little witch hat and I thought it was really cute, so I decided I wanted to give it a try. So without further ado, let's uh, just get on into it. So I'm going to be using the Take Me Back to Brazil palette and a couple of other palettes. I'm going to be going into the Morphe uh, The Vault collection just to add the gold shimmer that's on top of my eyelid there and then I will link all of my other products down below if you guys are interested. So I am using the Made You Look brush set to do this look and a Luxie brush as well, so just some random brushes. But I'm going to be going into the Take Me Back to Brazil palette using these greens and these yellows. So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm going to go into this green right here, this lime green, and I'm going to put that all over my crease. And then I'm going to go into this yellow right here, the one that's like already hit pan on. And I'm just going to put that into the crease as well, just underneath that green. Just creating this really lime green color that's really pretty. And now I'm going to go into this lime green right here and I'm going to put that all over my lid. I'm also mixing in some of these other colors like this green right here that my finger is on and this green and this green. So just basically all of the greens, all of the light greens, I'm just mixing together and adding them on top of my lid. And then going back into the yellow and just adding that in the crease. and really bringing the yellow out in the outer corners. So once I was happy with that, I, it's a very quick, just a very green eye look, and then um, the more I do, after I finish doing the little witch hat, I go in with other colors just to make it look the same as this side because this side is more yellow because I used a gold pigment on top. So what I did is I'm using the Sex Kitten Liner by Tarte and I just created a wing like usual. So I'm going to bring you guys down. I'm just going to create a, a wing like usual. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to draw just a little triangle. Just about that big. That still has color on it. So I went in with the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. So this palette right here. And I went in with this purples, this side right here. And I used this purple and this purple to create the purple color that is underneath the gold little belt. And on this side, you really can't see the purple that much because there is that gold on the top. So don't too, don't worry about adding too much purple if you don't have a very pigmented purple because this one really isn't that pigmented on top of that green. I went in just with my liner and I filled in the rest of the top of the hat. Now using the same brush that I was using, this is the uh, Made You Look, just the, just the very fine brush. And I'm taking Jeffree Star's, this is uh, First Class, this is part of his 2017 Christmas collection. And I'm just going in just on my brush 
and I'm just making um, the gold go all over where I made that purple square. Just so you have a little square like that. <laughs> it's really cute. And now once I was happy with that, I went in with, this is the palette Armed and Gorgeous, so it looks like this. And I went in with this gold and this gold right here. And I think this one as well. So how to make the Armed and Gorgeous palette work if you have the addition that I do. It's very patchy and very annoying. You take your brush that you're going to be using and you have to wet it. So I'm using the NYX Finishing Spray and I'm just going into Classified, which is this color right here. This gold matches my finger perfectly. And I'm putting this all over my lid. And then I'm going into Coin, because Classified doesn't seem to want to show up. And I'm just putting this all over my lid. Kids are here. Be right back. All right, so I'm just going in with coin all over. And then I'm going into guilt trip, which is this color right here. And I'm just putting that over top of coin. Now I'm really trying to get this classified color to work. They say with this palette and these palettes that if you scrape off the top layer, they should work like normal, but I'm not having any luck with that. All right, that's about even. So it should look something like this, just a little witch hat on both sides. <laughs> so I'm going to bring you guys back up. So now I'm going to go in with some lashes just really quickly. I already have lashes on on this side and these ones are just drying and setting and getting tacky. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to do the rest of my face, um, just my foundation and concealer and bronzer. And then I will come back and I will show you guys the finished look. All right, so I have the foundation and bronzer on, and I have just a little bit of highlight on, if you guys can see it. So now I'm just gonna go in with my Lexi brush, and I'm gonna go in with those green colors again and just blow out my under eye. And then I'm gonna add some of that yellow. And now just with the blender side, I'm just gonna go in and blow it out. I'm going back into Armed and Gorgeous and my Morphe brush and I'm just going to go into Guilt Trip which is this color right here and I'm just going to blow that underneath my eyes. Keeping my under eyes pretty green. So now I'm going to go in with some mascara. This is the it's Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I really like this mascara. This is the mascara that I got in my BoxyCharm this month, and it's actually a very awesome mascara. It makes my lashes super long and super voluminous, and I love it. Just to add some to my under lashes. And now I can't seem to find my liner for my under eyes, my pen, so I'm just gonna use the same one that I used to make the little hats in the waterline. I don't usually like using the felt tip ones in my waterline just because it just seems weird, but <laughs> um, I did anyway. So I think this is the finished look. This was just a really quick, really simple uh, witch kind of hat. So I'm going to zoom you guys in. So which is these cute little witch hats on my each wing that I have on and I think it's really cute. I think it's really fun and easy and awesome for festivities. I know this video is very late on Halloween evening, but I still wanted to do it. I still think it was really fun. This is just a really simple look that you guys can do next year if you guys are wanting to add just a little witch hat to your makeup or if you are dressing up for school or if you're dressing up for work. Just something simple that you can wear that's pretty wearable, like obviously not this isn't a look that you would wear every single day but it's still a look that you can definitely rock on halloween evening or any of the days during the spooky october month but thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys did like this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more content like this i am in the middle of preparing 
for I am that meme, that clap meme when you talk. <laughs> I am in the middle of preparing for 24 days of SFX Christmas. So I'm going to be starting to film those videos right away and hopefully for the month of December I will have a video every single day from the 1st of December to the 24th of, well, I should say 25 days of Christmas because Christmas was on the 25th. So from the 1st to the 25th, it'll be 25 days of Christmas and or SFX Christmas and I'm really excited. I have some really cool special effects looks that I need to bring to life and try out for myself and film. So I am going to be doing that starting probably tomorrow. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoy my videos and I hope you guys will surprise surprise. I hope you guys will subscribe. We've hit 282 subscribers and that just makes my heart so freaking full. I'm so happy. Like I sound like Hailey Reese. Oh my god. I love her. She's an amazing YouTuber but I sound like her. <laughs> um, but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! You are fool's girl.